All right guys, super excited to be making this video for you guys today. For those of you guys that don't know me, my name is Juan Valdez, and if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button either here, 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 or here. Uh, join the VFAM. Actually, thank you guys so much for helping me get to a thousand subscribers. Obviously now we're stronger than ever. A thousand subscribers was the first goal. Now we're moving up to 10,000 and then from there 100,000. And from there, you know, to the moon, one trillion million subscribers. So today I'm actually pretty excited to be making this video for you guys. Uh, you guys probably already seen the title, so you may already know what it's about. I was actually planning on getting a Lamborghini off rip. I want to let you guys know for sure. Last week, I actually was planning on walking into a dealership. And funny story, last time I actually ended up walking into a dealership, I ended up leaving with my BMW. So me and dealerships, are no good. I have this weird thing like when I get in there and I start seeing nice cars like I'm done. I'm closed. I'm good to go. I was planning on going in but I actually ended up calling into the Lamborghini dealership and just to kind of get some numbers to get an idea of like you know what kind of down deposit I was going to need, monthly payments, uh, trading value of my car, just to kind of get a breakdown of all the numbers. So I got to get an understanding of what it was going to look like for me to go in there and actually walk out with the Lamborghini, right? I wanted to know what, the, what it was looking like for me, what my chances were. After calling them up, they actually let me know. I just I actually just found out about this. And this is actually something that you guys, will be good for you guys to know because I'm sure a lot of you guys may later on want to get an exotic car or a more expensive car or whatever the case may be. Uh, when it comes down to you getting an exotic car, cars that are like around the 200,000 or 300,000 range, pretty much anything over 200 grand, depending on if you've already had a car or not, there's a slightly jump that you're making. So let's say for example, what I mean by that is right now I have a $60,000 BMW, right? So when it comes from me going from a $60,000 BMW to a $200,000 Lamborghini, there's a huge jump that I'm doing. And when you're first doing that the first time, when it comes down to credit, and you know dealerships they see that as a you know as a huge jump so obviously they don't know if you're able to really be have the credibility to be able to afford you know the car and you know make the payments and things like that so they don't see you as trustworthy so what they actually require is they require you to put down a 60 percent uh deposit which 60 percent of a two hundred and twenty thousand dollar lamborghini ends up coming out to a little bit over a hundred grand right you know i wasn't planning on putting down a hundred thousand dollars not be, not because i can't but because I know of other opportunities that I'm able to take advantage of where I can make you know, a lot more. For me, what I wanted to actually touch on was just opportunity costs, right? And opportunity costs is actually, let me give you guys the actual definition. I actually had it written down right here. The Google definition of opportunity costs is the loss of potential gain from other alternatives when one alternative is chosen. For me, much simpler is taking advantage of an opportunity based off instant gratification rather than making a much better decision for another opportunity that can potentially have you know a much higher reward so that's my definition of it nice and simple but i was thinking about that so i was thinking you know first thing I, that came to my mind was you know 100 grand right what could i possibly do with this 100 grand obviously i can get the lamborghini i can look good you know feel good take the instagram pics you know what i'm saying for the gram flash on them obviously i can do all that obviously speed down the streets and have a good time and you know just take advantage of the instant gratification that you obviously get off a lamborghini of course i can do that but then i thought about i could also use that same hundred thousand to first off grow my you know grow our e-commerce business you know expand you know have all their stores and you know just grow our team and our system that we already have in place a lot more i started thinking about all these different videos and things i'm hearing about bitcoin cryptocurrencies like people are like leaving their nine to fives you know to, to go full time on their crypto so you know after seeing that i'm like hey if this guy's leaving the nine to fives to commit fully to crypto this much this must be the real deal so that was my thought process behind it so if I invest this $100,000 right now, not even invest because it's more just like, kind of just like going to waste, not going to waste, but obviously if you get the Lamborghini, obviously you have a nice car, you know, you get a lot of attention, things like that. But if I use $100,000 to get a Lamborghini, what am I losing out on, right? So I ended up figuring out and I did some math and if I would have done it and I would have committed all the way to getting the Lamborghini, I could have lost out on tripling and even quadrupling the same $100,000 uh, simply because obviously there's a lot of opportunities I can take advantage of right now. Like I said, either you know investing back into my business, getting into cryptocurrencies, which I actually am in the middle of you know learning more about it and getting involved into it. I'll actually be recording some more videos on it to kind of share that journey with you guys. But I would have lost out on all the possibilities of having you know simple, not simple, but also easy returns on money that I would have had otherwise tied up in the garage. So that's my thought process behind it. And when it comes to opportunity costs, this is something that I use even up to date when it comes to, you know, all kinds of decisions and investments and everything. So I thought if I'm going to get a Lamborghini, 
I might as well get the biggest and the baddest one. So I really wanted to go, rather than just get the Huracan, I wanted to really get the Aventador, right? You guys have seen the Aventador. That thing is clean and it's so fast too. Um, obviously it's a lot more expensive. So, you know, obviously it that's even more of a risk that I'm, you know, that I'm considering to put in place and miss out on. Because again, if I'm, rather than getting a Huracan, which is about 200,000, usually Aventadors are about double, like 500,000 or sometimes even 600,000, depending on what model. Now, if I'm investing that amount, obviously I'm not putting down 500,000, but I'm gonna get an Aventador. I'm probably gonna have to put down twice or a little more than I'm gonna put down on a Huracan. So if I'm gonna put down that amount, now I'd be missing out triple or quadruple of that, which ends up being a lot more, obviously, than you know what the Huracan is worth. So why would I do that? when I can just, you know, obviously use that same amount of money or investment and put it into the right places. So rather than getting, going for the biggest and baddest Aventador, which you guys probably have seen around, I decided to go with the smaller, you know, Lamborghini Huracan, and that's actually the one that I decided to get. So what I wanted to do is actually take a second to kind of just walk outside and show you guys the Huracan that I decided to go with, all right? Take a walk outside. All right, I hope you guys are excited. They're gonna be bringing out the Lambo right over here. You know, stay tuned. Obviously, this is a super excited moment for me, and hopefully, it's a super excited moment for you guys as well to see me, you know, finally accomplish one of my biggest goals. Okay, Lamborghini Mercy, yo chick, she so thirsty. I'm in that two C Lambo with your girl, she trying to jerk me. Okay, Lamborghini Mercy, yo chick, she so thirsty. I'm in that two C Lambo with your girl, she trying to jerk me. Okay, Lamborghini Mercy. All right, guys. So I thought you guys gonna get a kick out of this video. Basically, what I wanted to end this video with is that the importance of opportunity cost it's something that's real right when it comes down to it now any big decisions that we make like I said before we take into consideration the opportunity cost and you guys should do the same thing because usually when it comes down to it there's always an opportunity cost to almost any big decision that you're thinking about making if you're working a regular job right now and you're thinking about the opportunities of you starting your own online business or you know starting another business or another venture there's a cost potential and tied into if you decide to you know stay in your job compared to the opportunity that you would have had if you would have taken that risk and actually you know started that business uh, there was actually a good picture i saw the other day on jeff bezos how he was stuck in his little office when he had no vision and he's actually the best at this he made the decision to leave a two hundred and fifty thousand dollar paying job to start up an online bookstore right so obviously there's no real vision behind that or because he took the risk and started that business obviously you guys see amazon and the opportunity behind amazon but obviously it's not always going to be like that but opportunity cost is definitely important but if you got value from this video make sure you hit that like button leave a comment for the boy let me know what you guys think about this video and obviously if you haven't already make sure you hit that subscribe button join the v fam you can subscribe here 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 and i'll see you guys next video peace should i fucking drive off in the whip you know what i'm saying